In this video, we are going to introduce the idea of literal equations, which would be equations that have more than one variable. And so here's the example I always like to show. Um, what we have here is we have a standard linear equation that we've always solved. And over here we have a literal equation. Notice all the variables. We've got A, B, C, X. There's several variables in here. So this is a literal equation. This is a linear equation. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the linear equation to give us insight as to how to solve the literal equation. And so let's jump into it. Here's what I mean. If I were solving this equation on the left for X, we'd try to get the X by itself. So I'd probably subtract uh, 5 from each side and be left with 10X equals 20. Well, if you started this one by subtracting 5 on each side, and this problem has a similar structure, you could start it by subtracting b from each side, because we're still working on getting that x by itself. So we have ax equals, and be careful, c minus b here, those aren't like terms. They're both variables. So I'm just going to leave that as c minus b. And let's come back over here to our example on the left. Here, uh, our next step in, in order to solve this for x would be to divide by 10 on each side. You'd say, okay, I'd do anything to one side as long as I do it to the other. And here, you'd be left with x equals Two. But then if I were to come and do the same thing over here, I'm going to divide by A on each side. It holds the same position as the 10 did over here. So if I divide by A there, that cancels. And then I divide by A here. And once again, not like terms, we can't really simplify that. So I'm going to leave it as C minus B all over A. So this would be the solution to our literal equation. We're just manipulating the symbols the same way that we manipulated numbers over here with the normal equation. So let's do a couple more just for practice. I think I just have two examples real quick. Here we're going to solve this equation for x. I'm going to try to get the x by itself. Well, first let's do a little bit of simplifying. I'm going to distribute my a in first, and we're left with, we're left with ax minus ab equals c. And we're trying to get the x by itself. And so my next step would be to... Let's get rid of this term. So I'm going to add a, b. Anything I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. And we're left with a, x equals c plus a, b. Lastly, to get that x by itself, I'm going to divide by a. I'm, I'm choosing to divide because I'm seeing x times a. So I'm using the inverse operation of division. Anything I do to one side, I also do to the other. And so we're left with x equals c plus a, b all over a. That would be a perfectly acceptable answer for me. Some people might want you to take that a step further and, and write it as two separate fractions. And by doing that, you can see that over here, those a's cancel, and you could have x equals c over a plus b. So these are actually, they look a little different, but they're equivalent. I personally would accept either one as an answer. Let's do one last example. On this example, it says solve for h. So you always got to be careful with these because you might be solving for a different variable every time. We're going to solve for that h right there. And so um, let me just recopy real quick. We have h plus 3 over y equals c over b. And so the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start with things that are further away from the h. It's kind of like we're doing the, uh, yeah, I'm going to start with things further away from h. So right here, I'm going to start, since I see that we're dividing by y, I'm going to start by multiplying by y because when you divide by y and multiply y, those are inverse operations, and they divide to 1. Anything I do to one side, i got to do to the other. So over here we have h plus 3 equals cy over b. This is really like a y over 1. So when you multiply straight across, you have this. And then my last step to getting that h by itself is I'm going to subtract 3. Anything I do to one side, i got to do to the other. And we'll be left with h equals cy over b minus 3. And that's pretty much all I have over these literal equations. Um, the more you do with practice, the better you will be at it.